Hello everybody, the IT guy logging in again with you today. This time, the ultimate piece of hardware to make your PC run just as new. I'm talking of course about the SSD drive. Now even if your PC is not the latest and greatest, this piece of hardware is still worth the upgrade. And the best part is, you can do it yourself. Keep watching and I will show you how. So basically I'm going to need a very small hard drive. For me, a 64 GB would do, but knowing me, I will probably store much more files and install a few more programs, so I'm going with the 250 GB SSD drive. Next, we'll need the right kind of tools. The first tool I'm using is this. It's a USB to SATA adapter, and it's being, it will be used to connect the SSD drive, the Samsung right here, to the PC, like so. And this USB plug goes into the PC and that way we can copy all the data to our SSD drive very easily. The next thing we'll need is a piece of software called Minitool Partition Wizard. This tool is completely free and you can download it in the link down in the description box. So to start off you can plug in the SATA to USB adapter into your SSD drive like so. And the other end, the USB end, goes into the laptop of course. Now, your computer might show you something, uh, a pop-up where it says that you have inserted a new hard drive and it might ask you, what do you want to do with this hard drive? If you see it, you can just close that window and ignore it because we're not going to activate it in Windows. We are actually going to use it to copy the files in Minitool Partition Wizard. So now go ahead and open up the Minitool Partition Wizard and click Launch Application. When the application is launched, you should see this screen appearing. So just uh, click this button right here, migrate OS to SSD HD. And after clicking next, 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 uh, you can just go ahead and click apply. And just wait for the necessary operations to be completed. Okay, so now the PC will restart and you'll get this screen appearing after the restart. You'll see some sort of command line screen appearing. Now this is going to take a while, so go ahead and do something else. Uh, you can do like me, you can play some games on your couch, in your underwear, whatever. So Partition Wizard has completed the copy of all the data. Uh, the next thing you should do is probably just shut down your PC and plug it out of the power and in case you use a laptop you should of course remove the battery like so now in my case this laptop does not use any screws I just have to pull this slider back and it pops open now next you want to remove the hard drive Close that up, connect the battery. That looks good, all right. Hey. All right, so as you can see, the SSD drive works and it is amazingly fast. See me click open uh, Microsoft Edge here, it goes like nothing. So there we have it. The SSD drive is installed. I hope you guys liked the video and thanks for watching.